Hello, bro. Good evening. So this is my story. My name is Frederick Omondi Ouma. I came to TZ in 2016. I was invited here by a boss called Zakaria Hanspo. If you Google him up, you'll see him. He's passed on. He passed on last year. I used to work as the HR manager at the Great Rift Valley Lodge in Naivasha. I worked with the late Ruben Kiwetu. Uh, that's where my boss and I met. So he brought me here. He was doing a hotel development. And Akanambia, you just come here, have a look at it. You know how we can recruit because, you know, Kenyans, we are known to run like hotel business. I mean, most of the guys here, hotel guys, are man- managers are Kenyans. So he told me, you know what, just come, have a look at it. Uh, see how you can put together a good team. So I came, I put together the team. I, I came here, the hotel was being developed. Unfortunately, I think this guy had overestimated his abilities. So when I came here, the project kept dragging, kept dragging 20, 2016, uh, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Now in 2021, um, things happened. Now it was Corona, everybody was, was, um, was was very careful um but then in august in august last year on the 10th of august uh something happened and um he told me he he basically the boss the boss the son of the boss passed away he had he had an accident while he was riding a bicycle one evening on the 10th of august on the 14th of august we're having his burial in church the boss said he was not feeling well that zachary hans spoke he left the church got into his range rover drove back to da and uh, he fell ill uh you said it was corona uh he was taken to the icu his elder brother was also like the, my director also he also fell ill after like a week, he was also told he was diagnosed with uh, with COVID, and all both of them died one week apart. That is in September on the 10th and 18th, respectively. Now that's where the drama began. Um, kidogo, kidogo, nikaskia. You know what? Kuna vitu ambazo zinapotea construction site. I said, but I'm not even involved in the construction site. I'm a HR. Kambi ah, we, we, you must know what is happening. Now, the person who was saying all this was like a black sheep in the family. Since 2016, when I got involved in the project, he always looked at me like, it's like he felt like nimekuja nikachukua his cash. Like I came and took his spotlight from him. Spotlight became me. Mind you, that my boss had given me a car. He had given me a good life. I used to fly back. I used to have a fairly good life. So now, because his his elder brothers, both of them had passed on, and the firstborn son had also passed on, basically he became the king. Now he turned his spotlight on me, said, you know, this guy has stolen some stuff. So I told the project manager, who is the architect, he says, ah, Fred, you know, this guy is in mourning, a chananai. We come a VP after my shayaku. Uh, unfortunately, in the same building where the hotel was supposed to be located, Palichini, there are some shop fronts. So I told the boss, I told the boss, hey boss, can I use this shop front? Can I put up a pharmacy? So because I come from Mombasa, I decided, you know what? Why don't we call this pharmacy Bamboli Pharmaceutical Limited? So I a pharmacy, Kaita Bamboli Pharmaceutical Limited. Um, I use like 1.5 million. I even have the transaction receipt where I withdrew money from from my bank account in Credit Bank Kenya, and I brought the money there. I have all the transfer records. So now I told the boss, you know, I can't be depending on your salary every day. You can die. <laughs> and funny, I told him that story, and then he died that same year. So this guy took the pharmacy. He said, "Oh, you are using our money to build it." So I came to Dan now. That was in everything there was in Iringa. These guys come from Iringa. Iringa and Yokama Ochakwao. It's 500 kilometers from Dan. So I come to Dan. I look for a job. I get a, 
a company called Usangu Logistics Limited. It is a HR company. You know, it's a logistics company, sorry. I was a HR manager. So after I was being paid $2,750, Alisa said, okay, up and Tajiti get here. At that time, back in KE, my wife and my daughter, uh, we are being evicted. So even I told my wife, Nyaji, we can be a court and you tell them uh, that you get an uh, order, an emergency order that we should not be evicted and our things should not be auctioned. Aka Kimbia, Aka Pata order, and we're allowed to move out under court order with police escort to Katoka Kwa Nyumba. But we had to forfeit our deposit. So back in TZ, we met after job in Guinea. I'm being paid $2,750 per month now. I'm the HR. After about two months, that's on the 3rd of February, one day in the morning, um, cops come, a big battalion of Tanzania cops come where I'm working. They come here this, and they're with the brother of this guy, the late directors, about 225 million Kenyan shillings, 500 million TZS. I said, ah, Mimi, yeah, my, my, my boss calls them, my director, the Arab guy calls them, say, my new director says, Hey, I don't think this guy is a thief. I've not, but I've not known him for that long, but I don't think he's a thief. Fanya hivi, nini mlandai shinga. Kama ni mambo na notice period, I may abandon kazi bila kutuwa notice, we can't, we can't pay that notice period. He said, no, this guy has stolen a lot of money from us, this guy is a thug. So they pick me up, they take me to cop station, which is nearby. Then the cops tell them, this guy is wanted in Iringa. His OB number is in Iringa. Now it is said, where your OB number comes from, you have to be taken to that new restriction. So I say, the, but then the person who's supposed to transport you is the complainant. So the complainant says, I don't have any money to transport this guy. Come have it, where's Ubiri Gava? So I said, Gava, the, one of the cops comes and tells me, okay, Ubiri Gava to pay for you, transport with police escort, Uta Subiri. You can stay here in a couple of years, and this is a police cell. Fanya, if you come to the door, So I fuel my car. And then I transport, I pay the cop like like 35k, 35,000 Kenya shillings. To car transported back to TZ. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, at that time, there was a lady here in TZ who was expectant for me. So she was always running around, you know, we, had, we were together, we've been together for a while. Um, so I was taken to Iringa. In Iringa, I remember I stayed in in Dar es Salaam police station for seven days. Tabata, in area called Tabata. And then I was taken to, to Iringa. Iringa is still another three weeks. In three weeks, Nimekakule, these cops come and interrogate me. Interrogation, Nima, excuse yeah. They're like, okay, so you, you, you used to take some money from the director. I show evidence. Oh, they dropped that case of obtaining money by false pretense. They come up with a new case. I'm still in police cell. Meanwhile, they've taken my passport, which is not allowed. You have to get a court order for you to seize for anybody's passport, even in Kenya. They take my passport um, after putting me inside, which is armed robbery. And then after that, waka new tafta case nyingine. Eventually, I make a lot of noise. So they are left with two options. Either they'll set me free or take me to court. So they decided to come up with a case of kuna vitu zimepotea, kuna vitu zimeibiwa. I said, no problem, they take me to court. While I'm in court, when they take me to court, that's, now that's one month of police cell lockup. When they take me to court, uh, they say you need to post bail of about $250,000. Uh, in 12, yeah, yeah, $250,000, $25 million. Guys for CCM, this is the only two chamas here, CCM and Chadema. So you need someone who's a bit of a, of a rebel to help you in Tanzania to post bail for you, otherwise everyone is pro-government. So I got after to Chadema, there was a local local aspirant, but it was in Chadema, and come to foot, and come and ask my story, he's like, you know what, I'm going to get a bond. I'm going to get a bond, I'm going to get a new bond, I'm going to get a bond. But then the prosecution says we need one month, Ili, to very, we need one month to verify this bond. The land's office is literally 20, 20 meters away from the court. But they're asking for a month. The judge says, no, one month is too long. Say, so can you give me given a week? 
Chaja kakubali ni kasue kwa ndani na in prison na in Iringa means Iringa is very Iringa is like Timboroa or Lemuru it's very cold it goes up to it up to goes up to uh, zero degrees or even even four degrees normally during July so I was taken into prison now that is sometime now in 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 um in March nikaingizwa ndani prison one week after one week finally we, they were like but we verified the judge akasema wewe ka nje but then they ask for another order skiza wewe usitoke out of a ring of iringa municipality remember my house is in da my work is in da so they say usitoke in the municipality hapa so I was staying in hotels in iringa and waiting for the next court session I go attend court. They say upelezo ya kamilika. Investigation is not complete. I go upelezo ya kamilika. I go upelezo ya kamilika. Meanwhile, my wife, she's unemployed. She's in da. She's struggling. Um. Finally, I told the court this lady. I think there's a problem with the baby. Wakanyambia. Okay, sir, you go check on the baby because that there are scans or even doctors from the prenatal clinic. Wakanipatia the judge. Magister wakanipatia conditional release. Go to da. When I get to that I've been fired from my job and um, my wife ni come like I will see they say there's a problem with the baby so finally uh, we will go to the hospital remember I don't have a job at that point we are told to fanyo CS because there's a problem with the baby there's something wrong with the baby to fanyo CS fanyo CS to ka and well, this baby has a problem she is like has down syndrome she has uh club feet club hands she has she went pupuid in her stomach in the in the mom's womb so up can you i see you when i see you for the next 48 days the baby was alive for 48 days and we when i see you for 41 days of those 48 days when i see you so we were transferred from that hospital the hospital is called rabinicia hospital to yakaya kikwete cardiac institute that is where magufuli had passed away last year but we were there in the icu department we fought we fought the bill kept escalating it hit up to 14 million which is like roughly 700,000 kenya shillings now do you know who was helping me even foot that bill the widow of my late director she came kimya kimya said Young man, I know you are innocent. My husband only used to sing, sing praise about you. Lakini, yeah, me says Ukusaidia. That's my brother-in-law. Lakini, he has a, he has a grudge. In fact, me and I have to have a case of inheritance of my husband's property. Lakini, I will help you where I can. Neza kongea na wase, waka Ukusaidia. So she used to chip in where she can, you know. Um, eventually, in fact, the brother discovered that she was helping me and she also cut off. Um, she and her son, the firstborn son of the late director, they were all all the family was, was cut off because of helping me. Meanwhile, the case keeps dragging on, dragging on. We took in a makamani to remember upelezo ya kamilika. Investigations are not complete. Investigations are not complete. And Tanzania is not like Kenya. They, just, they can just keep dragging it forever. Even up to 11 years, there's a Kenyan who's been in prison who's been told investigations are complete for 11 years. Now eventually I go to the embassy Kenyan embassy and I complain in Dar es Salaam embassy wa kandikia barua the PS of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Tanzania PS akaangalia barua aka akaongea na watu wa court when I went to court the following day um the following mention the judge told me eight hey, miskia umeandika barua eh hiyo kesi itaisha lakini na utapata compensation lakini kuna huyu jamaa amepatiwa huyu prosecutor amepatiwa doni nyingi hata yacha hivi normally case kama yamba ina evidence usijali if anything they don't even have receipts the judge told me to my face they don't even have receipts of those things they allege that you have stolen those things seems they have never existed the judge that's true those things never existed and these are construction equipment they are saying i have stolen These are clients. Why is it why is it it the contractor complaining that I've stolen his equipment? So they 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 don't change. They say okay, listen, we'll start we'll start the case now. Investigation is complete, completed. That's when they start playing games saying, "Oh, you know, witnesses are not appearing in court. Mrs. Witnesses are not appearing in court." Meanwhile, I cannot work in this country because I need a, a a work permit to work and a work permit is stuck on a passport they are holding on to my passport meaning i cannot work if i cannot work i cannot provide for myself 
so they're ensuring i can't even raise legal fees i can't afford a lawyer i can't afford a house i can't afford feeding myself right now my sister has taken care of me my friends have taken care of me everybody has sorted me out and i feel really bad it's so bad the other day i walked somewhere this guy knows i'm a foreigner at the end of the month, second month, I can pick a change and a salary. I can be a nenda wenda ko. I know you cannot go anywhere. In fact, I know you are working here illegally. If you come here with the money for your money, I'll call immigration on you. So I'm in a tight spot. All I'm asking for is not too much. Right now, these guys have corrupted the court in Tanzania. Tanzania is not a bad country, but they are very anti-Kenyan. So if the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Nairobi can just tell the the embassy in Das, Kizeni, Historo, just come, be observers. These guys will just become scared. Come back to, there's a big brother watching. And all of a sudden, all, everyone will just run away and I'll be free to live my life. The judge, the emergency has told me, you will win this case and will give you good compensation. I mean, I'm talking good is almost 50 million Kenya shillings. But I don't know if I can get to that place. I feel like I can, I'll commit suicide at any point right now. So, bro, Mimi, Naomba, Nimokumezo Zangine, evidence of everything you need, even videos, anything you need. I just need to get the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nairobi, attention. Wawambi Embassy in Da, please pay attention. Attend court so that these guys don't start changing evidence. Attend court. If any anything, if guys can raise money to pay, help me pay for a lawyer to go there, because right now, it's like the person who put surety for me, and I say, my, my title lead has been held up in this case for the past eight months. Nataka Kujitoa. Meanwhile, my baby passed away. I'm losing stuff, bro. That's all. That's it. That's it.